Hey guys, Josh Gale here with more Twilight Princess. Last time we finally got to be Link again, and this time we're pretty much heading straight to the uh, first temple. Whoa, Midna, you want to say something? Now then, it's finally time for that weapon I worked so hard to get. Yeah, you did it. You did it. I didn't do it at all. You probably already know this, but swing remo remote to wield your sword and use Z to defend with your shield. I'm so helpful, aren't I? <laughs> Just think of me when you use those, okay? No, but we didn't actually have a shield before, so that's new. In your face. Yeah, so the, um, the Auden sword is actually, like, way stronger than the wooden sword, but that should be, like, you know, kind of self-explanatory, considering this is an actual metal object and not, like, wood. Blunt wood at that, like, because sh sharp wood, if used correctly, can be pretty, uh, deadly, I guess. But, like, that wasn't even sharp wood, it was, like, blunt wood. <laughs> Now, I'm not a wolf anymore, so I actually can't just, like, dig under this, so we need to get the key. Do you have the key, Afro dude? I don't see why you would, because you're not, like, you're not in charge of the woods, you know. Huh? So, it's the Ordonian. You seem familiar, but then your clothes seem kind of different, so I got thrown off for a second. Yeah, my clothes are, like, way cooler now. Listen, things around here are being a little rough around lately, so you should watch your step, okay, guy? There are many monsters now. I got kind of scared and closed off the path to the temple. But you, guy, you want to get back there, huh? You sure do look geared up for it, so here you go. Ah, a small key. Oh yeah, the woods on the other side of this cave are covered in really thick fog. So make sure your lantern is full. You're definitely going to need to use your lantern a lot in there, so bring all the oil you can. And check this out, I have a special one-time offer for a, of a bottle of full ant lantern oil, only 100 rupees. Yeah, so you know, I know we said we weren't going to buy anything off this guy, but uh, if we weren't going to buy this, then we'd be missing a bottle, and that wouldn't be good. So, here's our second bottle, and this one's filled with oil. So yeah, good to have a second bottle to fill up with stuff. And you can put all kinds of stuff in that bottle once you use up all the oil inside, guy. And hey, keep using that lantern so you'll come back and buy more oil. Okay, guy? Nope. Never happening again. I don't like your shady business practices. <laughs> How about you sell the lantern for a really high price, and then oil is free? No, that'd be dumb. Maybe his business practices are clever. Hmm. Well, I still feel like screwing him over, though, because there is, there is plenty of places you can get oil, and it doesn't even have to be from a shop. So, yeah, no problem at all. Damn bats. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll just put the lantern on, because, uh, oil isn't really going to be a problem. Uh, well, I mean, uh, it is going to be a problem, but <laughs> a certain event is coming up, which is going to make us lose all our oil, so I can, like, just waste it for all I would care. Doesn't matter at all. <laughs> he was, like, rolling when that cinematic started. That was hilarious. Freaking monkey stole my lantern. Monkey thinks it's like badass. Follow me. Well, you know, I'm much more capable of than you. <laughs> hey, what's this monkey's problem? You idiot! While you were staring off into dreamland, your lantern got stolen. Uh, so yeah, uh, for some reason we need to follow this monkey around. Whereas, uh, you could do this by yourself after this, but uh, for the first time the monkey has to do it which is really slow, because the monkey, like, we could just go, like, straight that way and get there much faster, but we have to go, like, all the way around, because the monkey, even though the monkey lives in the forest, apparently the monkey doesn't know the forest very well, so we have to, like, just go around. It's, like, really slowly. I'm coming. Don't walk too far ahead, because then you'll have to restart the whole thing. Yeah, don't step into any fog unless you really, like, slowly walking. Which is more exciting, huh? Herding goats or this? <laughs> I have to say herding goats. And like the monkey gets freaking scared of like bats. Damn bats, bloody keys. 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 Keys, please. The bats don't have keys. It's kind of silly when you think about it. <laughs> I don't think there's a single Zelda game where you get a key from a keys. Which that should totally be a thing. If it's not a thing. Because like off the top of my head, like. The, to get the Sun Song in Ocarina of Time, you have to kill a bunch of keys, but they don't give you a key that just opens the door once you kill them all. So yeah, uh... Keys. Needs more keys. But uh, the fire keys are already annoying enough, you know, with their whole... 
fireness and they're annoying and ooh, there's a Deku. Cut your string. <laughs> yeah, it's like cutting a neck off, really. I mean, I'm pretty much decapitating them, but look, we're like, we're like done. Yay. Come on, monkey. Quit, come on, we're already done. Come on, just come. Oh, I have to come to you? Yes, okay, yes, let's go. Dumb monkey, stupid monkey. <laughs> Can't attack him either. I was like, I want to chop you up and get my lantern back, but you won't let me. <laughs> You're treating my property so good, monkey. Thank you very much. No, okay, so let's pick our lantern back up. Got the lantern back, but it ran out of oil while you were following the monkey around. So yeah, uh, <laughs> if you just filled up your lantern, don't you look like an idiot because you just wasted it all. Good thing we still got our bottle full of oil. I haven't really commented on this uh, wheel much. I really like it. Um, this is probably the best uh, item selection screen in any Zelda game I played so far. Uh, I definitely prefer this over Skyward Sword, though I think I said that already. Yeah, it's just like, the more items you get, the closer, like, each item gets. So when we only had two, it's like, they were opposite of each other. Whoops, I didn't mean to equip that. Oh well. I'm pretty sure that was already on a button anyway. And if it wasn't, it's not much of a problem, because we're going to need the lantern for the dungeon anyway, so... I'm going to have to refill it at some point. These b bloody book goblins, and I'm going, like, getting hit already, because I'm so pro. <laughs> So I'll probably actually just re quick, quickly refill my lantern here. Welcome, hey, buy something, anything. This shop is cool though. If you don't, you can literally steal from this shop <laughs> if you wanted, because it's not like enforced or anything. Like I can just fill up my lantern here and put it away, stop wasting it, and then it's like you have to put the money into the box. Wait, what? Where's where's the price? I check. Uh, 20. So I'm supposed to put 20 rupees in this box. But what if I don't feel like it? <laughs> Stop. Thief. Nope. Nope. Isn't he supposed to, like, attack or something? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, so I guess... That, that is a la very lacking in sound effects. Oh, what the hell? What is that? Some kind of wolf. Maybe I should avoid it. Ugh. Oop, no, no dice. Come at me, bro. Well, Link's dead. <laughs> Meanwhile, in heaven. <laughs> no, this isn't heaven. <laughs> Link hasn't done anything good enough to go there yet. Or well, then again, he already did like help out the town. So yeah, I guess he is good enough. <laughs> Oop, it's um. I don't know, some kind of evil skeleton or something. <laughs> the guy from Medieval. Nah, it doesn't look anything like that. <laughs> That's a good game though, Medieval on the PS1. I do like that game. Now, I don't, I don't want to get close to him because he's going like, to wallop me. And I know he's going to wallop me. Ah, fuck. <laughs> a sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. You may be destined to become the hero of legend, but your current power would disgrace the proud green of the hero's tunic you wear. Bitch, you m dissing me. <laughs> you must use your courage to seek power and find it. You must. Only then will you become the hero for whom this sword dis dis pit despairs. Okay. <laughs> if you do find true courage and you wish to save Hyrule from the horrors it now faces, then you will be worthy to receive the secrets I hold. Okay, apparently I am worthy. So we're going to le learn the first of seven techniques. Enemies that are filled with energy will become will quickly recover and attack again, even when stunned by a powerful strike. The ending blow is a secret technique and use on stunned enemies to end their breath before they spring back into action. When an enemy lies or collapse on the ground, stun Z target and press A without delay. <laughs> it rhymes. To leap high into the air and deliver a final strike. When the opportunity to end their breath is before you, you will see if a finish A appear vividly before your eyes. Very vivid. <laughs> Okay, so let's try it on Mr. Skellington now he's cooperating with me and finish him Yep, he's dead. He's dead twice. He's un undead Hmm, that was a pinpoint strike. Never overlook an opportunity to finish with A. The first hidden skill, the ending glow has been passed on 
take that ground. <laughs> Love that sound. There are still six hidden skills for you to learn. Those are only for one who carries the blood of the hero, the one whose spirit is that of the sublime beast. Grow powerful, test your courage, and when you find that you need another skill to overcome the threats that face you, search for the statues that howl with the sound of the wind. Seek the sound that calls to the spirit of the beast to awaken you again. So they're like these pillar things you wolf, you howl at as a wolf. <laughs> a sword wields no strength. I you, you already said that. So actually, every other ability he can teach you in this game is entirely optional. But they're pretty easy to miss, so like if it was your first time, I wouldn't worry about that. Because you're not about to miss any of them. They make like loud noises. More nuts to my slingshot, because I totally use that all the time. <laughs> okay, so that took a while to get through, huh? We're finally ready to start the temple, but there's some bokoblins in the way. Not that that matters, I'll jump attack you. Whoa, shit. <laughs> that was a really far jump attack. Blue rupee. Nice five. Hmm, I've still got 45 rupees though. Hmm. So usually, because of this, because of a really stupid mechanic that's in Twilight Princess, I really like emptying my wallet before doing a dungeon, but have, uh, 46 should be fine, so we should be good, good to go in. Uh, are we though? Uh, I don't want to like start the dungeon with like half an episode. Nah, screw it. We're going in. First dungeon. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this. Well, so far it's really dark. Oh, keys. Keys, more like deceased. <laughs> Ooh, this looks interesting. Forest temple. It's a temple in the forest. Much easier than the one in Ocarina of Time, because, you know, this is the first one. Alright, I'll take that generic spider. <laughs> And take that other generic spider. I don't think there's really much of a reason to go up here. There's probably like some treasure or something. Like 10 rupees. Actually, it might be 20. Have we gotten the 20 rupees before? I'm not sure. Don't think so. We're gonna probably we're gonna be finding a lot of like rupees in these dungeons though. Climb that slow. Alright, here it is. It's Ah, oh, it's only 10. Oh well. Yeah, well, 10 Link won't put back 10. Yeah, that stupid mechanic I was talking about earlier, if your wallet's full, he'll actually put the money back, which, like, for completion, if you're, like, a completionist, that is really annoying, because you want that chest to be, like, not on the map anymore. Not the chest on the map right now, because we don't have the compass, but yeah. Stupid Bo Coblin. Oh, look, it's that blood, it's the bloody monkey. They already got captured. Well, I feel like getting rid of these. Spiders first. Skeltellas or Skeltella or whatever. Free monkey. So surprised you didn't actually hurt them. You know, I'm swinging the sword around like crazy and I guess they duck or something so it doesn't hit them. <laughs> Which makes sense, but you know, I don't really expect a monkey to be that intelligent. Hey, that's the monkey that stole your lantern. Doesn't look like she's beckoning you. Aren't you the popular one? Eh. <laughs> Yeah, bloody monkeys. Can't leave me alone for five seconds. Okay, I'm pretty sure that, that one thing's the only thing that's in this room. Unless unless you want to get like that pot down by doing this. And uh Uh Yeah, I can't really get that. <laughs> I don't have like anything that can remotely get items yet. What a shame. Alright, I'm coming, monkey, I'm coming. Hold your uh butt. <laughs> that's very open. What's in this? Yeah, refill. Just hit the thing. Gee. <laughs> All right, let's go. I guess I get. I it does make sense. I guess the monkeys aren't really strong enough to open these doors by themselves, so it wouldn't need me to get through. Now, first thing you should do, and we're going to do, well, we, before we come in here, is c come down here and blow this up. And you'll see why we want to do this right away in a second. Now, uh, pick it up. Throw it. Yeah, that's t totally close enough. These bug things like portable bombs, which is pretty cool because we're gonna, like, <laughs> if these guys weren't here, it'd be po impossible to get through this because we don't have, you know, our, our own bombs or anything. Whoa, the monkey's like in the air. So here is our first blue, uh, 
red rupee, I believe. Nice 20 rupees. Yeah, so red rupees will actually be put back. Yeah, if our wallet's full, which I hate. <laughs> All right, so now that we've done that, we can go up this. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Just stab it and finish it. Uh, am I going to say it like literally every time I use that? Maybe. <laughs> All right, so let's use our stolen lantern oil to light these up. And there's two more over here. Don't forget these ones. <laughs> Which, yeah, now you see, because we lit those up, we can't get that chest anymore. Well, it's not like locked off forever, but you won't be able to get it for a while if you don't get it right away like that. You got the map. <laughs> Press one to view it and to, yeah, so do I really have to explain what a map does? A map, look, you can see on the map thing, now all the rooms are revealed. And we can look at the map by pressing one, which is really cool. You can also, if you don't like maps, you can turn it off by pressing two. But then, what I find even more annoying than the m not having the map is that two. So I just prefer to have the map up. All right, well, this is really the only way we can go. So let's head this way. Mmm, very windy. Oh, I don't like the look of that bridge, though. <laughs> Looks like it might break. Oh, who the, who is that? Is that that like boss guy? I, I, I would say yes if I had to guess because uh looks pretty evil. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That was it's that's that is an act of Satan himself <laughs> slapping their ass. Oh, it looks like that's not gonna work. Come this way. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Has there been a monkey fight? <laughs> oh no, we can't go any further. We might as well go back. I don't know what's going on, but it looks like she wants to take you somewhere, so maybe you should just follow her. Probably a good idea. Anyway, though. Actually, yeah, let's let's go back into the main room. See what's going on. So, there's like a chest up there. I can't get it yet, though, unfortunately. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Now the monkey will actually let us cross here. That's pretty cool. You're like, we, And, uh, there's nothing really over here. But anyway, um, that'll be all for this episode. So next time, we'll explore more of this dungeon. We only just tipped the iceberg, as you can probably see from this map. It's bloody... Well, it's not too huge, but at the same time, it's not really that small either. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, more dungeon next time. Thanks for watching, guys.